Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Brooke if you're new here. And today, I, judging by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about some college tips. So if you guys don't know, I recently graduated high school in June of this year. So I'm like just about to finish my fall semester. Next week is finals for me, which I'm super scared about. And I'm going to be studying after I film this video. But I kind of wanted to film a quick little video because I haven't been able to film much. And I had like the time because I plan on staying up late tonight to study. So yeah, basically I'm just going to be talking about some tips that I have learned so far while during my first semester of college. And um, hopefully it'll be beneficial to either people that are already in college or people that are going to start college. So like the seniors graduating this year, the 2024 seniors, hopefully it'll be beneficial to some someone out there. But yeah, I might make this a yearly thing if I like end up changing some of my tips and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it'll be beneficial. So the first thing that I did, so I guess we can just talk about like basic stuff first, like what to expect whenever you go in. So like you'll go to like your orientation and stuff obviously is what will be first. And then my first tip is to just like not worry about like making friends. Like I was, I literally barely slept before my orientation because I was just so scared. But I ended up meeting a girl that is still my friend right now um, during orientation and we're still friends. And then I made one other friend. So yeah, I only have two friends, but you know, that's that's good enough for me, but yeah. And then another thing I have to say is don't be too worried if you're a commuter because I'm a commuter. And like I said, I only made two friends, but like, I don't know if you're like shyer and quieter and only need like a couple friends like being a commuter is not that bad like i feel like you're more likely to have a bigger group of friends like if you live on campus and no more people so like if that's your style i would definitely recommend living on campus but for me like introverts like me i feel like commuting is like literally perfect because you stay in your own space and you just go to campus when you need to and you have a couple friends so yeah, so if there's any people that are anxious about being commuting, honestly, I love commuting so much. And I would, I feel like I would hate staying on campus so much. So like, if you are thinking about commuting or staying on campus and you want to try commuting, if it's not working for you, I say literally go for it. If you're like quieter and more introverted like me, it's literally great. Like I love it so much. I don't mind not having that many friends. It's great. Um... Next, I guess I'll be talking about some study tips I've learned. So basically for most of my classes, I mainly use Quizlet to study. Um, but for my like important classes to my major, so if you guys don't know, I'm a psych major, I use flashcards. And just because I feel like flashcards, like writing stuff by hand makes it more like stick in your brain better. So, like, for the classes that I don't, like, specifically need, like, my gen eds and stuff, like, stuff that I don't really need to remember, I put on Quizlet and study that way. And then stuff that, like, would be important for me to remember in the future, I put on flashcards. So, right now, I basically have all my classes on Quizlet, except for Psych is my only class that I handwrite flashcards for. So, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that it would be beneficial, but, I mean, if you're more of, like, if you don't learn better on Quizlet and you like all flashcards, then by all means go ahead. But just like in my experience, like I feel like writing stuff down makes you remember it better. And I don't really care if I remember the gen ed stuff or not. That's why I just put it on Quizlet, study when I have a test, and hope it goes okay. So yeah, I also have yet to fail a college final. Like I've gotten a C, but I, or not a final, like a test, because I haven't taken any finals yet. But I haven't failed any of my tests that I've taken this year, so. Also, believe it or not, if you guys didn't know that, some professors actually offer bonus, which I actually did not know. Because my psych teacher literally offered us three, like, bonus opportunities. I did all three of them, obviously. And my geology teacher um, gave us one bonus opportunity, and it's... It's five points, and I did it, and it's going towards our final grade. So basically, I can lose five points on my final grade and still get 100%, which is literally perfect because I'm struggling so bad in that class, okay? And another thing I have to say is try not to beat yourself up, like, super hard about your grades. So my grades are definitely not, like, what I would think I would have in high school because I have two low A's, 
two B's in a C in geology right now. So basically in geology, I'm literally just hoping to get the bare minimum passing grade because I just, that class is literally awful. You're going to have like awful classes and that you like have to take, even though like it doesn't have anything to do with your major. So the best thing I can say is just stick through it and just... If you pass by the bare minimum, then good on you, because I literally, like, tried so hard in this class, and I'm just hoping that I do not fail, or I will literally blow my eyes out. So, yeah. And another thing I would say is always make sure your headphones are charged, because listening to a lot of music, I feel like, is just something a college student always does. So, like, here's your reminder. Go make sure your headphones are charged or else you will hit yourself in the morning because I know I have done that before and it's, like, they've, like, stopped working, like, in the middle of, like, while I'm doing homework or studying and I would just get, like, so annoyed. So, yeah. That's, like, all the tips that I've really come up with, like, so far, like, as, like, uh, for as my college experience goes. I haven't really, like gone to like any teacher meetings like I haven't done like office hours or anything like I I honestly like really haven't really had to do that at all like I haven't had any trouble with like my assignments and stuff like I'm obviously having trouble in geology but like I don't even know like where to start like asking them questions because like I don't know he's just not like the best teacher and I just like just like his teaching style like just doesn't like it's not like something I'm like good with so yeah, but I never have to worry about that class again on Monday because that's when my final in that class in. So yeah, I don't really have any more other tips to say. If you are currently in college and you're like ahead of me, like not a freshman, then let me know if you have any tips for me in the comments down below. Or if you are about to graduate high school this year, congrats to you and good luck and I promise it's not as scary as you may think it is um because I was definitely scared but like honestly there was like no reason to be scared like I don't know I'm I've been doing fine I've been doing I've been chill high or college is so much better than high school let me tell you that yeah so that's all I really had to say I'm I don't know when this video will be up hopefully it'll be posted it's currently Thursday so hopefully it'll be either be posted over the weekend or like early next week i'm hoping but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i promise i will be posting more soon because i will be off for three weeks for christmas and i am also getting my wisdom teeth out which is not gonna be fun but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and subscribe and i should be back to my normal posting schedule soon so yeah i love you guys and i will see you in the next one